Hey everyone, welcome back to another Adobe XD tutorial. Today we're gonna check out how to make this amazing scroll animation with this globe spinning 360 as well as these little scroll elements at the bottom as soon as I press one of the elements at the bottom, it also takes action and scrolls the elements on the top. This will take us less than 10 minutes. So get your laptops ready and let's get started. Before we get started, I am now also on Instagram. So if you want to check out live sessions and really good content that I post there as well, go to at Puneet Chawla official. It's free to follow and I'll see you there. In the comments below, tell me which is your favorite Adobe feature in the new June update. Let me know in the comments below. So starting off, make sure that you have the latest Adobe XD update. If you don't, then go ahead and update your Adobe XD. Once that is done, I have this basic artboard here, which is the iPhone 10, 10s, and 11 Pro artboard. Very simple. You can do this by clicking A or pressing A on the keyboard. And on the right, you'll have all these cool options for devices. And you just need to choose the top one, which is iPhone 10s. Awesome. Now that you have everything set up, I've already set up a background color. You can do the same by just clicking on the artboard name here and going to the right. In the appearance, you'll find the color. You can add a gradient or you can do something which is just as simple as adding a basic color. I have also just gone ahead. These icons, all the icons in the project will be from Remix icons, which I think is one of the best libraries of icons out there. So to create the earth or the spinning globe, what I'm going to do is really quick, just create a basic circle. I can do that by clicking on E for eclipse and just holding out and dragging out to make this circle. Now, if I put this circle in the middle, I'll make sure that it's 24 pixels from the left. So about, uh, let's just say 24, perfect. And on the other end, I'll do the same 24 pixels from the right so that we now have a good margin on both sides. All right, guys, so the next step is super simple. I'm just gonna copy this really cool image. I will give the download link for this image right here. I will give the download link for this image below the video in the description box. You can check it out there. Now, if I'll just place the image like this. And what I'm going to do is just duplicate these images. Just hold Option or Alt and drag out. That will duplicate it. Simple. And I'll just align them over each other so that it seems as if it's blended. And the best part is of this image is that the corners seem to blend very well with each other. I will do the same thing twice or thrice depending on how much rotation you want to allow on the circle or on the globe right there. Once I've done that, what I'll do is just drag out and uh, select all four of these or five of these. And on the right, now you have these new options in Adobe XD, which is the vertical scroll, horizontal scroll and scroll in all directions. So I'm going to select for this experiment. I'm just going to select horizontal scroll. That means it will scroll horizontally. Make sure that it also is about the what I'm going to do is now just place it inside here and make sure that this is about the size of this circle. Just drag these blue lines or this blue handle on the left and the same thing for the right. Just align it according to the circle right here. Perfect. Now that we've done this, what I'm going to do is just put it below the circle. How I can do that is just going to this panel on the left, which is the layers panel and just placing this below the circle. You can just drag and drop just like that. Now that the ellipse and the scroll group are placed together like this, I'll select both of these. So make sure that the circle as well as this map in the background is selected. Right click and what I'm going to do now is say mask with shape. Just click on that and as you can see now we have this globe working and ready for us. If you want to test it out, it's as simple as clicking on the artboard, going to the preview on the top right, just clicking on that button. And if I scroll on my laptop, it just scrolls through the, these images and it feels as if it's scrolling through a three dimensional image. With more of that effect, what I've actually done is just placed another circle above this, just dragged and dropped this like this and made sure that this has no border. Of course, go to fill, click on the color on the left and under solid color, I will select linear gradient. So make sure both the ends are actually black 
and one of the end i'll just drag this out on the right here this handle on the right so that it's now 0% opacity and on the other end as well i'll just reduce it so that it's kind of 0% opacity like this closer to 0% and i'm just going to rotate it until i have this angle at which this dark area is there and you know what on the other end i'm just going to make sure that it's slightly more darker so it's that it seems that one side is actually day and one side is actually night on the other end i'll just duplicate this circle right here perfect and i will just rotate it in such a way that it faces the top left like this yeah it can get a little complex but make sure that you don't get too ahead of yourself so what i'm going to do is just make this white now so just like we had black on one end i want white on other end the problem here is i just need to make sure that it's uh, the same size as the circle as well uh, let me just place it just now uh, just so that it's not too overpowering i'm going to reduce this just like that perfect looking looking really good one more thing just to add a little more uh, you know glow on the left like here just going to use the pen tool just click pen just click on p on the keyboard and just drag out just like this so you'll have like one line which is divided into two portions and in the middle just double or just hold control or command and click on just double click on this anchor point on the left of this line and just make sure that it aligns with the circle here perfect and i'm going to make this this really light uh, kind of neony blue here i'm just going to change the size of this curved line to mm, i don't know 24 24 is too big maybe maybe something like 18 perfect and what i'm going to do next is go to this background blur option at the bottom i'll click on it right next to it we have back uh, an arrow i'll click on that and choose object blur from this right here i'm going to make sure that there's no fill to this border for sure and object blur i can adjust very much like this so it looks it started to look really good i can change the opacity also a little bit so that it's not too overpowering and it you know it's coming out pretty pretty well I've done one thing which is very convenient for you guys. I've just placed components here. So what I'm just going to do is just drag out these components. And don't worry, I will have the Adobe XD file in the description below so that you can do the same follow along. And I'll just drag these components out and place them right next to each other. Just so. And I'll do with this third component as well. Now that we have a perfect line like this, I can just click on all three of these. Make sure that you select three and right here on the right, there is something called horizontal scroll again, just like we did before. And make sure that these handles are on the left is to the edge like this so that the cards overflow to the left and the right it's to the edge like this as well. Once you have something like this, you can, you know, just drag out on all these elements. If you've followed all the steps perfectly, it should be just like this. So I'm going to quickly teach you how to animate it in such a way that it zooms into the map. So just click on the artboard like so, make sure it's blue like this and say Command D or Control D to duplicate the artboard. Now, in this case, what we can do is if I go into the layers panel on the left at the bottom here, there's this layer panel button. If I go into this mask group, which is essentially this earth or this globe right here, I open this from here. Under scroll group, if I click on this icon on the left, it will open these images. Now, what we can do is just click on all four, make sure all four are perfectly selected. Oops. Yep. Uh, and make sure that it basically zooms out. So what I'm going to do is just select all of these and just zoom out like this and you know you can place it um on delhi just like that or you can even make it bigger for now i'm just going to leave it at this size it zoomed in a little and i can always place a circle above it just to maybe mark uh delhi just like that that'll be awesome okay so to preview that what i'm going to do is click on this rectangle or this artboard which is the first artboard click on the play button as simple as that and make sure of course that you just you can drag here awesome and if i click on paris france what it will do is just zoom into it now the only issue here is that you'll have to basically drag out just to place it like that and if i click on something like paris france as you can see it's just zoomed into some area on the map of course it's not paris france i'm sorry for that reference but you know it's it's zoom so make sure that it faces paris france right now is just facing delhi for this reference 
I hope you like that video. I love the new features in Adobe XD. Comment down below if you do as well. And I will see you in the next video every Monday and Thursday, same time. God bless.